friends. <laughs> I am going into Aldi today armed with $100 to spend on stuff to prep for the future. Uh, let's go see what I find. I am going to primarily focus on ingredients for things. Uh, I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. But um, I've, I've talked about that in the past, that I try to focus on ingredients when I'm buying things for my larder and pantry. I always keep a cooler in my car in the summertime, just in case I need it which I do today for our treats that are not preps, they're just treats. If you're not familiar with Aldi, it's a bring your own bag system. It's a money saving deal. Although some of these things you can just put in your car in the boxes that they come in at the store. <clears throat> when we get home, we'll talk about everything that we, that I bought. I'm Miss Katie, this is Heritage Ways, and what I like to do is share cozy homemaking with old-fashioned family values. And I do that through cooking, canning, preserving, just, just home stuff, homemaking. The sun is bright, thank you, Lord, but I'm going to need these sunglasses. Uh, I have been uh, <clears throat> homemaking in my own home with my husband for 33 years. But before that, I helped my mama. I learned alongside my mama. So part of creating a cozy home is, is, is budgeting and just everything that comes with homemaking. One thing I do not purchase um, at most stores, I don't purchase uh, these type of things, which is HBA, Health and Beauty Aids. I try to make my own or use um, all natural, more natural things, like for example, my deodorant. I use um, locally made, uh, one that I love, absolutely love, um, locally made, uh, I use soap made by home businesses, I've made my own soap in the, bar soap in the past, I use essential oils to make cleaners, I use, uh, I buy things from the wellness company, which are healthier than these products. Um, so many of these products have things in them you don't want to put on your skin. Truly carcinogens, cancer causing things. Why would you slather that on your skin? Um, feminine products, I have a whole playlist. Well, I think it's three videos about healthy feminine products. We do not use feminine products that have chemicals in them that are harmful to the body. So I talk all, I did a lot of research about that. And I think it was two or three years ago, I did a, a series on that. So I will link that information about feminine products here in this video. Well, I'm gonna talk just a second about the word prepping. Mr. Patient hates that word. He hates for us to use that word but only because uh, so many times it has the connotation of these, you know, crazy people. We sometimes people think, I'm not calling preppers crazy at all. Um, but, uh, you know, I think nowadays more and more, surely, uh, I hope <laughs> folks out there, I know this audience, you all realize that the word prepping is, or to prep, to prepare for the future, fill in the blank, whatever that is, is not foolish at all. In fact, it's the opposite of foolish, it's very wise. But my philosophy is this, what people are doing now on a basic standard level is what I've been doing for forever. It's just been called homemaking. <laughs> it's just been called homemaking. You know, making menus and canning and preserving and gardening and having chickens and, and going to buy extra at the grocery store and putting it in your pantry or your larder or, or your root cellar. Uh, you know, that's the stuff I've been doing for forever. 
that finally it's uh, normalized <laughs> and uh, I can share some of the things that I've been doing with so many people who are interested in just clinging on to that information nowadays. So uh, that is what, you know, homesteading and prepping, all that is, I feel like other words for just what uh, many of us have been doing for years and it's called homemaking, you know, but that's okay. No matter what you call it, it still uh, looks like preparing for the future, whether that's tomorrow or six months from now or two, four years from now. I will tell you, and I, I'm going to talk about this in another, a, a separate video for y'all, but, you know, we've had a situation here in our area where folks uh, have now been out of electricity for four days and uh, because of storms. So you never know. You never know. Another good thing to buy is baby wipes. I like to get, uh -oh. I like to get the fragrance free or the sensitive. I'm not buying them today, but that is something else that I like to get when I find them. I just keep a pack in the car for hand washing, but it's good to have in your prep stores as well. Thank you what I got for $100.80 total. 80 cents total. Um, so that would be before taxes, which in Ohio, we don't have tax on food, but the paper products were taxed. Um, and before, um, I also bought some things like snacks, like my breakfast to eat on the way home. <laughs> I'll show you what I got in a minute. But I spent $100, $127.30, but $100 of it was basically what you see. As I said previously, preps to me just mean always buying a little bit more. Y'all, I do apologize that you can't see my whole, my whole table here. I was just trying to, I had the camera turned backwards and I was just trying to make sure you, I didn't cut my head off and I inadvertently cut off my stuff. So I'm going to show you photos throughout and I will give you, um, on the screen, I'll show prices and quantities. I apologize for that. So really, I, like many other people, are just doing what I've always done. Uh, maybe, well, I'm doing more than I've always done, but it's the same mindset. Just always just trying to buy one more of something when you go to the store. Yes, I had a hundred extra dollars. I pulled it from our budgeted, gro our grocery budget that we already have, um, just because I didn't need that many groceries this week. But always buy a pack of toilet paper. Y'all make sure you're checking your per unit costs when you're buying things. I'm sure probably most of you know this and do this already, but um, let's see. For example, this sent this Willow Premium So Soft toilet paper, which is what we use. Um, it is 23 cents per sheet. So, you know, the 6.95 looks cheaper, but you come over here and you have, it's cheaper than the $14.49, but you've got 19 cents per sheet, per sheet. So 19 cents per sheet compared to um, the 23 cents. So uh, this is Willow as well, but you've got to compare like items. So I'm comparing the uh, So Soft to the So Soft. So, you know, we're gonna use the toilet paper. So obviously I'm going to buy the family size. So just make sure you're checking your per unit cost on anything you're buying, whether it's spaghetti sauce or toilet paper or anything. Facial tissues. Uh, so I bought several of those. I'm also, um, if you're listening to this, that's great. But if you want to see the prices, you might want to look on the screen because I am going to put prices up on here. As I mentioned, the items I have, uh, Distilled white vinegar. This can be used in pickling, but it can also be used in cleaning. I get coconut water. I want to point out that uh, I love coconut water, and uh, it's, it really is healthy for you. But this particular coconut water, it's got sugar and all kinds of additives in it, so pay attention to that. Uh, the one I get, this is 100% pure coconut water, and uh, it doesn't have uh, the... the, the um, um, sugar or anything else added to it. So you really have to look at your ingredients. I mean, I'm impressed with Aldi and the products that they carry. Um, 
but um, you, you really have to pay attention uh, to your ingredients. This coconut water is really healthy. Add that to your uh, drinks this summer. Okay, then I got uh, avocado oil. You know, a, a tip is uh, you should always try to buy your oil in um, colored glass jars or tins, you know, um, metal tins rather than clear glass because clear glass will allow your oil to go rancid quicker. I like to cook with avocado oil. And um, while I'm talking about oil, let me mention that, yes, I have in my stores here at the Hunt House, my prep stores, I have five gallon buckets of coconut oil. But I also like to um, stock up on these small ones because these are the ones that are easy to fill. You know, if I needed to dip out of my five gallon bucket, they fit in my kitchen cabinet. Well, I also keep one of these in the bathroom. It's good for oil pulling, um, dental health. I put it on my face every morning and every night. It's the only face cream I use. You can also, there's so many uses for coconut oil, so it's good to have them sitting around in the different places that you're going to need them. And uh, so I stock up on these uh, sizes as well. This is unrefined. Um, non-GMO organic cold pressed virgin oil. This is going to have more of a coconut taste, a flavor, and then the refined is not uh, going to so much. And while we're talking about fats, um, this ghee, I splurged for this, but <laughs> this was $9.99 as you can see. This is ghee uh, clarified butter Original recipe, grass-fed, non-GMO, keto-friendly. I mean, this was very expensive. Used for saute, sear, or toast. Has a high, a 485 degree high smoke point. You can make this, and this is not something I have not ventured into making yet. I know I can, it doesn't seem difficult, but I have not done so. But I really wanted to taste this. This is not something I'm gonna buy a lot of at $10 a pop. But um, I, I want to make learn how to make this, and I especially want to learn how to make it in a sun oven, which I'm saving money for a sun oven, too. And when I get the sun oven money saved and buy that, I will bring you videos about that as well. Balsamic vinegar. Uh, this is really, you know, good stuff on salads. Uh, I will say this does have caramel color and sulfites. You know, I try to watch my ingredients I debated this because of the caramel color and sulfites, but it's not like I'm gonna chug a lug it and drink a lot every day. So I think we're gonna be good on that. But things like this, I just buy one or so when I go to the store. Um, we drink a lot of uh, Limeade or Haymaker's Punch or whatever you wanna call it. We have two videos on YouTube about Limeade. And um, we, uh, this is not, I prefer the, um, what is it, the Key West brand, is that what it is? I prefer that. This does have um, preservatives that I'm not thrilled about, two preservatives, um, but it's better than not having it, and I, 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 I'm gonna stop right here. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my friend who made a video the other day that I thought was phenomenal. And I shared it on my community tab and I wanna talk about it briefly here. But that friend is Mary from Mary's Nest. She's a dear, dear friend of mine, love her so much and her family. And she made a video the other day in response to a viewer's comment, a negative comment that she received. And the video she made in response to that was cooking with economy and grace. And I cannot have, I can't, I didn't know I could love her any more than I already did. I wanted to drive down to Texas and give her a hug because I just was cheering her on as I watched that video for so many different reasons. And one of which is we just do, we do the best we can with what we have. And yes, that other lime juice and lemon juice, the brand that I love so much and it's very expensive. Yes, I would prefer to buy that. But this is where I give myself grace. And you know what? I just pray for covering that the Lord would just 
reward me for trying to be a good steward, but also for trying to, it's my clock, for also just trying to be a good steward of our money, but also taking care of our body. So please, my friend Mary is knocking on the door of a million subscribers, so she does not need my shout out. But in case you have not heard of Mary's Nest, I would implore you to go and check it out Give her a, a subscribe, a follow on Instagram, all those things. She may be on Facebook. I'm not sure. But she's a lovely, lovely woman. And the family is just precious. And I appreciate that video so much that she made. So I'm going to see if I could link that video right up here in the iCards for you to watch. And also down in the description box. It is a must-see video. So that's my philosophy on buying the lemon and the lime juice. This is not um, my number one pick, but it's what I could afford. And we use lemon juice in all sorts of things. You'll need it in some in jelly making as well. And um, the lime juice, like I said, we use that in um, Dad's, um, Mr. Patient's uh, fresh pico de gallo that he makes, which is wonderful. He's traveled down to Mexico so many times that he learned how to make it. And I think I've got that recipe in my first cookbook, I believe it is. I'll link those cookbook links down below as well. But like I said, lime made. All right, and so a couple more things, and then I want to share some things I didn't buy, but I did take some snapshots and video of them at the store, things that you could buy. I did get these. I wasn't thrilled about the price. They seemed a little pricey, so I'll do some price comparisons. But sponges, um, you know, we use Luffa, Luffa gourds, Lufa, Luffa, whatever you want to call it. I grow them. I use them to wash dishes. The other day I cleaned out a, my galvanized tub to wash clothes. Uh, they grow amazingly, and um, I, I love my Luffa. <laughs> but, and I got some of the scrub sponges that has the abrasive part. And then I got these. I got three packs that do not have, they're non-scratch. And I got those because I have two pans that the kids use for pancakes and somehow they always burn the pans. I don't know how, even though I've tried to teach them. But um, those pans have a non-stick surface, not the old Teflon stuff, but a, a good non-stick surface. And I thought, well, they can use those to clean those surfaces. And then, um, I got these because Aldi has been out of taco shells for forever, and we, the kids, make themselves um, white tacos out of my second cookbook, and they make those every week for themselves for Wednesday lunch. And then, and then I did get some um, treats that, that are not included in, in the $100, chocolate-covered bananas, which I have got to learn to make, not learn, I know how to make them. I've just got to do it. <laughs> um, make for our freezer because we love chocolate covered bananas. And I wanted to show you, this is the Irish butter. You know, you could, I could buy this, price is on the screen there. I could buy this and basically that's what the ghee is made from. So I will um, do some working on that ghee project. So I'd like to show you a few things here, things that you can buy at Aldi. But you can buy your beans, all kinds of legumes, beans at um, Aldi. Those are great things to have in storage. And then of course your rice. My friend Stacy at Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, she talks about um, not buying enriched rice that's been stripped and the stuff added back to it, kind of like they do um, other things that say enriched but like flour and things like that. So I don't buy enriched products, but um, it looked like to me today, this jasmine and basmati rice seem to be just, you know, good purchases. And I have plenty of that, so I did not buy any, but I did want to show you that. Peanut butter is an awesome thing to have if nobody in your house is allergic or sensitive to peanut butter. Um, raw honey is great, local is best. I just want to remind you and, and encourage you to make sure you check the ingredients. You don't want certain 
uh, ingredients in your foods. I know um, soybean oil here is not a good oil to consume, and that is what these sardines are in. So again, I mentioned Stacy again because uh, Stacy at Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, Stacy, she talks about how good she uh, sardines are for you, but you want to make sure you don't get them in soybean oil. So just just make sure you're checking your ingredients. Now, one of my favorite tips to share with people, and it sometimes surprises people, is that go to any grocery store, fancy or otherwise, and look and see what they have in the freezer department and get some ideas of what you can freeze. You can make your own, you know, lasagna and freeze it and, and just even, you know, avocados, things you don't think of. Go and just peruse the frozen food aisle. I don't buy this stuff I'm showing you, but go and look at that and then go home and figure out how you can make it at home and put it in your freezer. I love sharing that tip with folks. Well, thanks for joining me today. If you liked this haul, let me know. Let me know what intrigued you. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know, please, what type of content you're searching for, what you want me to work on. We can talk about canning, dehydrating, fermenting, more saving money, um, good stewardship, all kinds of things. So direct me, let me know what you're interested in seeing this summer. Last summer, I worked on Project 54 all summer long. And if you don't know what that is, it is 54 consecutive videos, celebrating my birthday last year, 54 videos of just cooking. And each week we had a different theme. So I'll put that playlist down below for you as well. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope you have a great day and count your blessings, y'all.